What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and to another discussion video for Star Wars Battlefront 2. We've got a fun one today. The voice actress who portrays Padme Amidala in the Clone Wars TV series, Katherine Tabor, had a very interesting tweet the other day where she talks about Battlefront 2 and Padme potentially being in it. Now I want to be clear that this is not a confirmation that Padme is coming to the game as a new hero. I wouldn't even go so far as to call this a tease but there are some interesting things that I want to take into consideration. I want to break down what exactly she said about Padme being in Battlefront 2, some of the responses to it, and what it all means. Let's check it out. So our community manager for Battlefront 2, Ben Walk, put out a tweet asking the community what our favorite skins are in Battlefront 2. It became a pretty extensive thread, but Catherine Tabor, the voice actress for Padme, was tagged in the thread since Padme was brought up and the fact that she has a costume change every 15 minutes in the movies implying that she has virtually limitless possibilities for different appearances. Well, Catherine retweeted this with the following. She says, I am so there, just waiting for the holo call from EA Star Wars. Think of the weapons, hashtag ELG3A, think of the vehicles, J327, and yes, think of the wardrobe, concluding the tweet with the hashtags Battlefront and Battlefront 2. Honestly, really cool to see from somebody who is so in tight with the inner workings of the Star Wars franchise. So now, let's break this down real quick and just take at face value exactly what she said. She says, I'm so there, just waiting for the holo call from EA Star Wars. That tells me one of two things. Either she has already done voice lines for Padme Amidala as a potential hero, and she's just waiting on the word from EA that she can announce it or talk about it, or the other option is that she has not yet recorded those voice lines and is waiting for EA to call her in to do so. That's why I said this isn't necessarily confirmation of Padme, because this could go either way. Even if it isn't though, it's very interesting to see and talk about. Now, when she says, think of the weapons and think of the vehicles, her two hashtags, the ELG3A and J327, are references to Padme's blaster and ship. I found the hashtag ELG3A especially interesting because before it she said, think of the weapons. And to me, that's pretty interesting because everybody and their mothers knows at this point that everyone wants new blasters in Battlefront 2. So the fact that she specifically brought up a new weapon piqued my interest. She also references Padme's silver ship, the J327, which you can actually see one in the Tatooine map on Galactic Assault. It's parked along the outskirts of the map boundaries. This made me imagine, though, a potential new hero starfighter, which I don't think would necessarily be a good idea because the light side already has two ships more than the dark side, despite the fact that they are different Falcon variations. After that, she brings up the wardrobe, which, yeah, we all know Padme has a lot of different outfits in both the movies and the TV show, so the potential for skins is virtually limitless. In any case, it's really cool that Catherine is tweeting about this and expressing interest in reprising her role as Padme in Battlefront 2. To top all of this off, Battlefront 2's lead design director, Dennis Braunveld, retweeted what Catherine said with the caption, You call this a diplomatic solution? No, I call it aggressive negotiations. Make of that what you will. I'm not going to say Padme is teased or confirmed, but this is still very interesting to see. It's also very cool to see Catherine actually talking about Battlefront 2 and expressing interest in lending her voice to the game. Ahsoka and Ventress seem to be the hot topic when it comes to potential new heroes, but let's not forget that Padme is also a member of the Big Three when it comes to the prequel trilogy. It would be really cool to see her in the game, especially seeing a new blaster hero after the lightsaber overload that we had during the Clone Wars DLCs. I'll pass the question off to you though, and I don't want to drag this video out too long, but what do you think about Catherine talking about reprising her role as Padme? Do you think Padme will actually make it into Battlefront 2 in the future? And if so, who do you think will be her villain counterpart? If I had it my way, I would go with either Cad Bane or Ara Singh, the two bounty hunters from the Clone Wars TV show. Padme had a pretty personal run-in with Ara Singh in one of the Clone Wars arcs, so that's definitely a possibility, and Cad Bane is just a legend in his own right, and I would love to see either one of these two in the game alongside Padme. But that's all I've got for this one, guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the discussion. Comment below with your thoughts. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about what Catherine had to say about voicing Padme in Battlefront 2. If you're a new viewer here at the Star Bazaar, consider subscribing to the channel for more Battlefront 2 videos like this. But that's all for this one. I appreciate you stopping by the channel, and I will see you all out on the Battlefront. Peace.